A good day on the water could consist of flying birds, flying fish, and flying rods. All this up next on Next Level Fishing TV. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Out here with my buddy Mario. We're gonna be going up and down this river here and uh, just seeing what we can find, man. I've got a really nice uh, matrix shad. It's a, uh, I think it's called a, a rip slash or something like that. It's a little bit of a diver for matrix shad. And I've never had an opportunity to use it because I really haven't been in a, a situation to use it, which is the one you see right there right now. And uh, what it does is it's got a little lip on it, real small. And it's got a couple really good high quality trebles and it will naturally go to about three foot when you're trolling it. And that's ideally where I, where I want to be target. I want to get like right on that edge and just troll right on it and see if I can get uh, on the inclines and declines, kind of find a sweet spot there. Trolling speed for these trout, um, I would say about 2.5, three miles an hour. Just enough to get the diver down to its target depth. I think that's about where, how fast we're trolling. Should be a good day. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this behind the scenes episode with Next Level Fishing TV. Good quality hooks, which is something I'm always looking for. The action on this thing is super legit, man. I love the little pink marking underneath. And um, this one's a gold, black, and a little bit of silver underbelly. The action, like I said, goes a long way whenever you're trolling. Right next to me, do probably maybe like two thirds length of the kayak. Can't remember. Man, dude, man, what's up, Gar? Katan? Using trebles, dude. Um, you're talking about in the surf? In the surf?
one thing that I'm noticing so far today is a lot of gar in the water, man. You, you'll see them like right on the banks and sort of where the drop-offs are at. Even a few in the middle, but the big ones, man, are rolling through these banks here, man. It's crazy. Let me show you this picture, man. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But I'm going to show you. Uh... Look at that gar. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's over six foot right there. So as we're cruising, uh, Mario and I, we just sort of from the distance, it's all these birds working. Times all it is is just a bunch of bait that gets kicked up from all the boat traffic and the birds will sometimes stay there. And that, that's what I thought it was. And we were going to our fishing spot back there and we didn't even get there. Sometimes it's like that. Hook one of these birds, dude. Dude, you see those shrimp? They're just jumping everywhere. I feel like I don't even need a lure. I feel like I don't even need a lure to catch them. They're popping those shrimp, man. Cool little 16 incher. Another 16 incher. Nice fat belly on it. A little shorter, a little bit over 15, but legit. We upping it a little bit on length. Uh, I think this one was like 16.5 um, or something. And then we got this. Good old fat mini stud. Um, she came in at uh, 20 and three quarters, but probably one of the fattest. And look at this. This is definitely one of the fattest 20 inch trout that I've caught, man. This one right here has, look at that. I mean, just when I grab it right here, belly hangs low. Man. See you later. Thank you.